My name is Brittany, and I play with the Alabama Shakes. My name is Steve, and I play with the Alabama Shakes. My favorite memory from this tour is when Zach stuck a banana in his pants. He <laughs> came out. Look at my package, bro. Look at my package, bro. It was really funny. Super funny. Okay, I have one. Probably day before yesterday, we were in Amsterdam, and our engineer, guitar tech, whatever you want to call him, um, we're so close to passing out. It's like four, four thirty in the morning, and he comes onto the bus, and everybody's asleep, and he's just drunk really drunk he's Irish too so to say that he's drunk is Irish he's drunk Irish drunk really drunk he starts screaming oh! Oh! and he has a huge bottle of Jaeger he's like I'm not gonna let you go pass out on me have a drink with me right now bottle gone in five minutes easily said and done and I can actually remember that that's one of my best memories Okay, so one of our very first shows we played was at this place. I, it was either Mercury or Mercy Lounge. Which one in Nashville? Mercy. Mercy Lounge, oh, okay, shit. in Nashville. And our keyboard player, Ben, he couldn't make it because he was playing with another guy, Dylan LeBlanc, who's uh, opened for us a couple times on this tour. And um, he had a friend that lived in Nashville who plays saxophone. His name's John Tibbon. And <laughs> He was like, hey man, can you get me into this show? I really want to go. And he's like, I'm not going to be there tonight, but you know, I'll pass it along. I could probably get you in and whatnot. So uh, he does, and he gets to the show, and he's like, hey guys, I got my saxophone. Would you care if I sit in on a couple of songs and play with you? We're like, yeah, not a problem. And uh, he comes out, and he, he plays solo saxophone for our entire set. Weirdest, most awkward thing I've ever witnessed on stage. I would take my nephew to a strip club because that's his birthday and he's turning 18 years old. So that's what I would do. <laughs> I just do with all my friends and family, and my pets. I would just be sitting in the backyard barbecuing. Um, Uncle Orange would cook some of his famous ribs. He'd be drinking, he'd be happy and smiling. And if that was the end, well, I probably wouldn't know it. Wouldn't know the difference. <laughs>